partial design and blocking out the model. Using wax, block out the saddles of the model. The wax needs to be one to half millimeter thick, which is about the thickness of the base plate wax. This is going to create relief for the application of the acrylic later. Notice the extra large tissue stops cut out of the wax relief. This makes the partial very solid during the frame try-in. That is crucial when dealing with flexible partials. Also, it makes the frame more solid during the press packing or injecting of the acrylic. At this time, block out any areas of extreme undercut. Duplicate the model. After blocking out the model, it is time to duplicate, using reversible or permanent duplicating materials to make your mold. Pour up duplicate. Pour up the duplicated mold using CDM Dental's expansion stone. Be sure to use expansion stone because duracetal shrinks as it cools, and these stones counteract with shrinkage. If a more passive fit is needed, like with a night guard, CDM Dental has a double expansion stone. Here we have the blocked out master model next to the expansion stone. Waxing the partial. Place 12 gauge sprue wax about 2 millimeters below the blocked out saddle areas. The blue wax highlights where blocked out areas are on the model, so you don't overlap finish lines when waxing. Creating the major connector. Place 12 gauge sprue wax along the lower half of the major connector and seal down onto the model. Using your waxing instrument, Put a bead of wax along the anterior area of your major connector. Now you have created the borders of your partial. Using heated wax or a sheet of base plate wax, fill in between the borders. Also fill in the saddle areas. There is no need to make retention in the saddles now. Waxing major connector. You want the thickness of the major connector to be no less than 1 mm thick and no more than 3 mm. Notice that the blue rope wax is still visible. Using the blue wax as a guide, now define your external finish line with no worry of overlapping the internal and external finish lines. Waxing the clasps. With your major connector waxed, now move on to waxing the clasps. About 90% of the time, the clasp will be placed at the gingival of the tooth, but if there is an extreme undercut, you will need to move the clasp higher on the tooth. Place 12 gauge rope wax to form your clasp. The thickness of the clasp is only for processing. Once the clasp is processed, it can be reduced. With hot wax, seal the rope wax on the tooth. Waxing the rests. With wax, fill in the areas requiring rests. Wax the rests thicker than needed before processing. They can be reduced after processing. Here is a completed wax up. 